Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new vlog. I figured I need to do some makeup for the day. I did have some on and I've cried it all off, all off my face. So I've had to just wash my face and get off all the residue that I have moved around my face. And now I'm gonna start again because I need to shoot today. So what's that? A small insect. Yeah, I need to I need to shoot something today. So I thought I'd at least get my base on with you. Up until 10 minutes ago, I had this huge bag filled with lots of new PR samples that I've been sent. And that's bearing in mind that I actually don't often accept a lot of PR samples these days because I get a little bit overwhelmed by how many I used to get. It used to be absolutely amazing, but overwhelming. So now I only accept from brands that I'm either super intrigued by or that I am working with. And that's just the way that I that I do it just so I don't get overloaded. However, I've got lots of new products here. I thought we could try them together, do a bit of like a first impressions. None of these are sponsored. A few of them I might have worked with before. Like I've got some new Charlotte Tilbury things. I've worked with them before. New VB mascara, I've worked with VB. Nars, I've worked with. Armani, I've worked with. Lumine, I've worked with. But this isn't sponsored, it's just a review. Yeah, I thought that we could kind of go through a few new products together and review them whilst I kind of update you on a few things and just have a chat. First thing I wanna try, the new Rode Glazing Milk. Let's see what this does. This is like an essence, so it's meant to go on after toner, after cleanser, and before your moisturizers. Oh, it's quite nice. It's thicker than I thought it would be. It is literally like a kind of creamy milk. It feels quite refreshing on the skin, actually. The skin is a little bit irritated now that I just washed it again and after rubbing it from the crying. That's got a lovely glow to it. No real scent. Love the packaging. I'm also a big fan, actually, of her peptide glazing fluid as well, which is a really lovely, again, coat of, like, hydration. It just makes everything stick really nicely to the skin, sinks in really nicely. For moisturiser today, yes, moisturiser. I've got the new, uh, the Lumine Glow Moisturiser. It's just been like repackaged and it's such a lovely glowy base for makeup as well because they have just launched this new triple glow radiance elixir. I mean, look how beautiful that bottle is. That literally looks like sunshine in a bottle. So that's just like, I think that's their new glowy serum. Such a beautiful moisturiser. It smells like, clementines and satsumas and oranges just mixed together in a delicious soup. Okay, let's get into concealer. Let's try this new concealer. Ilya Concealer. True Skin Serum Concealer, shade Chicory. So the reason that I've been crying, and it, I mean, it's only two o'clock. I have been wanting to watch a brand new film that has just landed on Sky Cinema. It's called A Man Named Otto. And I believe, it's a book as well, just been made into a film. And it's a Tom Hanks movie. I'm a big Tom Hanks fan, as I might have mentioned, probably have mentioned it before a number of times. Big Tom Hanks fan. He is in my favorite film of all time, which is Forrest Gump, obviously. I think everyone's probably the same. When you get a favorite film and the actor in that film, quite often you become a fan of them as well and then you sort of follow their work and what they're doing. And so I've always watched pretty much every Tom Hanks film after Forrest Gump. I think he's just such a fantastic actor. In this, he plays a gentleman who is a bit older than middle-aged and he is quite lonely, no longer with his wife. And he lives kind of like a neighborhood estate. I guess I can say he's kind of like a grumpy old man. He's been wronged a number of times in his life. He's just quite lonely and quite sad and angry at the world, really. But he lives in this neighborhood of some really lovely people and follows his choices along the way of how he wants to live his life. It's quite the emotional film. I cried off my entire face. I think it is a 15, it's not necessarily for kids. It's quite mental health related, but I think it tells a really, really beautiful story overall. So hard to tell with concealers, you need to just kind of keep on using them. My under eyes are a little dry today anyway, so I'd hate to say it's drying, but it might not be. Let me keep trying on that one. I mean, it's not immediately blowing me away like some do when you put them on and you're like, wow. But nice so far. Okay, foundation I want to try is the YSL Touche Eclat 
don't think I've ever tried this or if I have it's a very long time ago I have shade oh it looks quite good for me actually shade BD20 again I'm going to use this house labs brush and we'll see how we go here oh gosh that's flawless illuminating very illuminating as a base thus far my actual skin looks really fab I'm very impressed very impressed with that. There's also a new film called Maggie Moore. Did you say Maggie Moore? With Tina Fey and John Hamm. That's just landed on Sky Cinema. And another film, Rebecca would love this. Dungeons and Dragons, Honor Amongst Thieves. Most Chris Pine, a Chris Pine performance has been in a long time. That as well is brand new on Sky Cinema right now. By the way, for any of you who haven't seen Forrest Gump yet, like I was talking about, you need to watch it. I'm gonna warm this up now with some of the Makeup by Mario Soft Sculpt Shaping Stick in light medium. I mean, with this, you could either go a bit more like along the edge, get an edge, or you could just go in like this. So for example, I could do this here. Oh, it's very creamy though. It's really creamy to draw on. It's blending nicely. Sky also dropped pop-ups every month of different collections of films um, like in the past I've mentioned they've done like Harry Potter and they've had like all of like the Bourne films or all the Mission Impossible films or you know they kind of do these different pop-ups for their customers and right now they have a pop-up of lots of different adventure movies and like fun fiction movies like Charlie and the Chocolate Factory and Minions family friendly films too thus far everything I've tried to make up by Mario has really impressed me it's so well made. All of the textures and the finishes are always so beautiful to blend and easy to work with. It's a really good brand. I think he's doing such good, such great things actually. So hats off to Mario and his team. But look how beautiful, like it's really warmed up my skin. Right, I am going to try. Do I have any blush other blushes? Um, no. I really want to try this NARS blush in Brazen. I don't know how much is too much. Let's see. It's really radiant. It's radiant, it's lightweight. It's quite uplifting. Oh yeah, that's too much, I think. I think the key is probably like apply a bit and then build up more. Right now I am pretty much only really using creamy products. I'm obsessed with this creamy glass skin thing that everyone seems to have going on I'm really about that yeah that's beautiful that is beautiful that's exactly how I expected just uplifting useful skin Ilia liquid light serum highlighter I don't I think I have any other high Ooh, wow okay so it's kind of like a, a wand so let's try applying it with a brush it's quite pearlescent adding quite nicely though to that blush I wanted to take off the colour of the blush. I don't think it is. It's just kind of adding extra, extra glow to that existing glow. Beautiful. It's really, really nice actually. See, I've got like the Summer Fridays, Dusty Rose to try. I've got the Ilia. They're all very much of a similar vein at the moment. These kind of stick blushes. I've got the Charlotte Tilbury little beach stick. So I've got a number of blushes to try, but only, like I say, only one face, so never mind. Okay, let me see what I'm left with here. Oh, I've even got this Face Trace Contour Stick from Westman Atelier, but again, I've only just used this. And I'm really quite liking that bronze. Let's try this Ilia Lip, Lip Wrap Hydrating Mask. That feels really nice. Okay. Now then, what do I have left here? I have the Ilia Liquid Powder Matte Eye Tint. Let's give it a try. I like the colour. I like things like this that just look like a wash. Very pale. Okay, it's almost not quite the colour of my skin, but like if I wanted to just nude out my lids, this would work. This would work well. It works, but it's not much, it's not much colour. I hope it would be a little more tan, more of a tan shade, but for like an everyday, where you don't want much on, but you just want it to be like a perfect lid colour. Works quite nice. Mask feels nice so far. I wish I'd put that on earlier now. 
Let's try the brow pencil. Ilia brow pencil. Sorry, I've got, I know this is quite a lot of Ilia, but they sent me a few number of, a number of things. I've got soft brown and I've got taupe. Let's try taupe. Taupe is my usual. One side, spoolie. Little crayon end. Yes, it's feeling quite nice and waxy. It's quite a good tone for me too. It's drawing on quite nice. I quite like it. It's doing a pretty good job. Yeah, I like it. And I have their In Frame Brow Gel. Oh, it's clear. So let's see. Brush it. I'm hating my brows at the moment. I think I've mentioned it before, but I'm really hating them. I just feel like I've cut them a bit too short. And now they just feel a bit blank, unruly, and don't want to do much. Yeah, I like that. Taupe, this is a good, this is a good shade. Oh, I mean, look at that. Look at that Ilya highlight just sat there in my hand. I like how small this little wand is. It's far, my lips are really enjoying that mask. I am, however, going to just remove it because I want to put on some lips. I'm gonna use Pinky Brown by Huda Beauty. It's a new shade for me, let's see. I think this might be one of Susie's favorites, I'm sure. She was using this last week. Oh, it's got like a, a peachy tone. Honestly, it's a little bit lighter than I would usually go on my lip liner. Like I feel like if I coloured in my whole lips now, I'd love it as a full shade. It's almost like the colour of my lips. It's like my lips look better shade. Now I rub that in, it's more of like a natural lip shade for me. Because I also have Huda Beauty's Rich Brown and just for a tiny touch of definition just to define them a little more they are lovely i don't think i don't know if i've tried the huda beauty lip liners before but they are nice the draw on nice and easily super pigmented there's some really goodies in here and now for lips i want to try i've, I've got this new color from tilbury in love with Olivia. I haven't seen this before, so let's give this a whirl. Again, it's quite peachy. It's nice. I don't know if I'm straight away obsessed with it though. Let me see, because it's also glowing, glowing gem. I've got, ooh, I've also got Dance Floor Princess. Okay, let me just try a bit of this over top. I think this one's more me. Dance Floor Princess. Armani Eye Tint. Money item in 9S, I think it says. It's this really glittery champagne -y one. Put a bit of that into the centres. I mean, the items are amazing. I just don't think I've tried this colour before. I mean, they just blend like a dream. And they'll stay all day. So that's gorge. Yeah, I've got some goodies in here. I just want a bit of brown. Item in 30. Starting to look very glamorous now. I'm gonna try this last piece. The Westman Atelier, how pretty is this? Westman Atelier powder. It's pink, pink powder. That's made my skin look really silky. Like really silky and perfected. Mascara, the new Victoria Beckham. Vast Slash Mascara, this has blown me away. I think this is absolutely amazing. One of the coolest things about it is that if you just activate it with water at the end of the day and literally just rub lightly on your lashes, the product on the lashes almost turns into little tiny water filament drops and will just wash away. They just separate off of the lashes and just wash away. Someone commented and said, well, what if you cry? Which is a, which is a good point, if you cry, They'll, it'll come off and you can wipe it away. It's not gonna smudge everywhere. Like some mascaras, when you get them wet, they'll just smudge because there's so much oil in the mascara that they just start to stick to the face. Whereas this, I think is brilliant. And it's so volumizing, much more impactful than Victoria's previous mascara, which actually I love. If you want something like day wear, super chilled lashes, it's amazing. But this is like the Victoria Beckham Dramatic Lash and I genuinely think it's excellent. Yeah, so that I think that's kind of everything I wanted to try out with you just to see what you thought. I just feel like I've not done 
any makeup reviews for a little while and it's nice to go through some new products. Look how gorge. And it builds up as well. If you want to do like a second coat, it builds up nicely. Want it there, thank you. Whew. I feel like this red lip is probably now all over my face. I need to go and top that up actually. Hey guys, it's been a few days since my um, previous little makeup day. However, I've got some clothes to show you that I've been buying for a upcoming wedding. In fact, I've got quite a few things. I have this box. I'm not gonna show you that box right yet though. <sighs> I must admit, I'm getting a tad bit overwhelmed. It is, um, it's like four o'clock now. And I've, been working, ooh, and I've been working all day. Alex is headed to Manchester. Um, Cause he needs to do some work in the new studio office. So he's just headed there. I'm, whilst this is kind of drying up a little bit, I'm gonna instead go over the top with an easier color because I love a red lip and it's fantastic for events and when you're doing something that requires a red lip. But if you forget you're wearing it and then you're drinking and you're eating and I often, when I'm talking to people or I'm doing something, I'm touching my face constantly. And then I'm like, why have I got red everywhere? Like the dog is now covered in red. Wait, how do you, oh, wait, no, how does this work? I don't get it, I don't get it. Oh, it pushes, oh, oh, it pushes up. Oh my, oh my God. <laughs> 10 years I've been in this industry and I did not know that this is how this worked push it up and then use that thing to make it a bit more pointed. Can you see that? Pull that out the bottom. Okay, that's news to me. Awesome. I was 34 years old when I understood what the hell this thing does. I know now. Please comment below if you also didn't know that. Yeah, so I'm just gonna go over the top of this red with this and it should make it actually quite nice. Movey, movey red, I think. I was wearing Armani's new um, Lip Power mattes. They've just brought out mattes in their Lip Power. And I was wearing 400, which is their signature red. Mm, I like that. So it's Huda Beauty's Lip Contour in Pinky Brown, which I'm quite liking at the moment. I'm gonna put that on and then I'm going to go, I'm gonna go over top with the road uh, lip peptide. Give it a bit of shine and also give it some slip. Right, okay. So like I said, I have this box delivered last week of potential wedding guest dresses. I'm also the mistress of ceremonies. It's me and another lady called Daisy. We're both the mistress of ceremonies for my friend Charlotte's wedding on the weekend, which is quite a high pressure job. I need to write some limericks between now and then. So I've got a couple of days because we're gonna kind of say things in, in limericks and kind of like rhyming couplets, God knows. Um, so I need to get right in that. But anyway, I need a really great wedding guest dress. So I bought about five or six, I think, to try. One thing I would love your advice on, I'm thinking of keeping this, but I haven't yet, this blazer. It's a little black Gucci blazer, it's linen, it's cropped, it's got more of a tuxedo styling to the buttons and the finish, with the sort of very short uh, length between the buttons. But I love the slightly padded shoulder, and overall I think it's a very cool blazer for this sort of outfit. What do you think? I mean, it's pretty great, right? I think I'll wear it a lot. I'm selling it to myself the more and more and more I wear it. It's got a cute little Gucci emblem here. Gucci buttons, says Gucci on the buttons. Otherwise, it's a plain black blazer. I think it's just really quite cool. And one of those things that I will just wear a lot. So let me know if you agree. Now then, before I get going here, I don't know why I'm feeling so stressed. I just wanna put away some of these bits of clothes. One second. Okay. I would honestly just love to redo redo this closet. I know I've spoken about it before. I've got a lot of ideas, just ways that I would design this closet to make much better use of space and bring in so many more areas and aspects of it that would just be a lot easier for me to use with the amount of clothes and shoes I have. Don't get me wrong, I love this room. I think it's amazing. It's like the dream closet. I feel like my style has changed so much since I put this in four years ago. And you know, I've used it so much, like it's been the background of every single reel for the past two and a half, three years. And so I feel like I just need a bit of a change of direction, change of scenery, change of vibes in here. 
and I've got so many ideas of how to like amp up the space, make it a little bit more me, more luxurious, more aesthetic. I'm just gonna fit my fives more, so maybe one day soon. Let's have a look at this. <laughs> how funny that I would pull out the one thing that isn't part of the haul of wedding stuff. I thought this looked really cool. Let me show you it. I'm not sure now, seeing it in person. It's a blazer that has a shirt section sewn into it. So it looks like you have a long shirt on underneath the blazer. It just looked really cool on the model. And I thought it gives that very kind of lazy day look with like the shirt underneath. But now seeing it, I mean, I could probably just get this look from my own shirt and blazer, right? Um, yeah. <laughs> This is up for me. No, it's also got a really strange smell. That is not for me. And actually I'm quite, I'm quite thankful because it wasn't cheap. It's a cool concept, but I feel it's about, it's almost a bit of a lazy way of dressing because it's, it's almost doing it for you, which is fine. You know, you don't have to even think about it. You'd be like, oh, I'm gonna put on the blazer shirt today. It seems to have a theme currently for event dressing. And that theme is silk, color blocking, maxi kind of pastel ish ish kind of like tones in that very su subtle tones let's say that we have a silky olive a silky lavender a silky peach and a silky blue <laughs> okay let's try these on i'll leave these all linked down below for you guys by the way just so you know as well just in case you get this mixed up this isn't an ad for etta porte this is just me buying a lot of things as always. Do you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna kill two birds with one stone here and I'm going to film this for a TikTok and ask my TikTok audience. I'm just Victoria Magrath on TikTok if you do wanna find me. It's just a good way to make more videos if I do this too. Do you know what? I think this is the most affordable of everything that I've bought. Actually I might be wrong there. Could be wrong there. Maybe with some sparkly yeah. sparklies. Pretty. Obviously needs a major steam. I have the perfect bag, I think, as well, for this wedding. Little self-portrait, crystallised bag. And it'll look great, actually, with the big bows of the Mac and Max. So it's a full vibe. Do you know what I always find people comment whenever I wear dresses like this? That it looks like a nighty. I don't know what nighties people are wearing that look this flipping chic and sophisticated. I certainly don't have a silk maxi length, beautifully coloured like incredibly sexy backed nighty in my collection. Do I need one? Maybe I need one. Everyone else seems to own one. Option A2 is Bando. So slightly different, slightly different. Looking at it now, it feels a bit neon lavender, but the wedding I'm going to, Shar is a bit of a raver. You might remember, you might not remember <laughs> on stories a few months ago, we went watching Swedish House Mafia at Creamfields. That was the hen do of this wedding. That's the kind of wedding this is gonna be. It's gonna be rave central. It's gonna be dance music. It's gonna be, it's just gonna be a lot of fun. So I feel like actually this dress would fit in pretty nicely. So let's give it a go. Ow, ow, ow. Chafing with the tag. Oh my ass. I am not sure on this. Can you see it a bit longer length here? It's not quite as long as the green. The olive actually wasn't full length anyway. I don't know, this silk doesn't feel quite as high quality as the olive. It feels like it ruffles a bit more. Maybe it's because it just needs a bit of a steam. I feel like it's pulling and not in a good way. It looks almost, makes it almost look a bit cheap. I'll just put it on with a pair of Renee's. I don't hate it as much now. Bulgari. I mean, it could even just go with this again. I can hear my prince. Come in, prince. Take your seat, my darling. Take a seat. I was going to just order this one dress, this this peach dress. And I've even asked the bride about it and said, what do you think of this? And she was like, I absolutely love it, get that. But I thought, well, it would be a bit silly of me to not order a few more just in case this doesn't fit or I don't like it when it comes. So I ordered a few and that's where this kind of color scheme and vibe came from. This is the next one to try, okay? I'm not gonna lie, I feel like it's a bit big. Oh no. Oh, it's stunning otherwise. Did you know it's stunning? But the one thing I do worry about with this dress, I know you're all thinking it. I look a bit like a bridesmaid, don't I? 
Let's put some shoes on with this. Let's go sparkly, sparkly, Jimmy Choo Saidas. Do you know what? These aren't the right shoes. These are not the right shoes. I need a strappy. I'm going to change up just for a pair of strappy Jean Peter Rossi's. Yeah, yeah, guys, I think this is too big. It just feels a bit too big. And it's a really good length, actually. It's a really great length. In need of esteem. Wow. Oh, oh, one, one second. This could turn out a lot better than I was thinking it was going to be. <sighs> kind of fits the boobs nice. I kind of like the way it's cut. It's rather nice. Oh, wow. It's, it's different for me. Kind of just a little bit sexier, isn't it? Blue Renee's. I mean, I, I'm definitely just going to go for this back because I keep pulling it out for every single look. Oh, I just feel a bit like the Little Mermaid in this, so the way it drapes. It's on the floor at the front, which is quite beautiful. It's really quite stunning. Didn't expect to like this one. Oh, I'm just thinking by the time you see this, I'll have already been to the wedding. Okay, it's been a few minutes. I've sent all the videos to Bryony and to Rebecca to get their opinions. They like blue and lilac the most. Hmm. I think I like the blue. I really think I like the blue. Anyway, I'm gonna get this off. I'm gonna put on some gym, gym stuff. Oh, Bobo, you look bored stiff, my little darling. I don't know, uh, I think these are the ultimate leggings. So, since we last spoke, I realised that I didn't do, I didn't film a video last week. I didn't post video last week. I just wasn't doing anything that I felt, that I felt would be entertaining. And so I took a week off because I know what is coming in the next few weeks. There's a lot, there's a lot coming. And so I thought I'll have one week without a video and then get back onto it. So that's what I'm doing, so I'm back. But when I last saw you, sorry, one second. Um, yeah, but since I last saw you, obviously I mentioned, I think my previous video was all about my new morning routine and my new life routine and trying to get myself feeling more healthy and all that. And um, in honesty, I've been doing really, really well. I've, I haven't, I haven't fallen off that yet, and that is two weeks ago or so. I've been working out almost every single day. I've been eating a really healthy set of foods. I've been feeling so much better about myself and my health. I'm um, just feeling really good right now. I think it's great. Um, just looking after myself. I had a bit of a down like a bit of a dip one day. But then I just did like a full um, day of pampering and looking after myself and felt so much better by the end of the day. In fact, you might have seen that on my top, my talk tick, my TikTok, because I did a, I thought I'd film it as a, what I would do on a day when I'm feeling really crap. And in doing that, it kind of helped pull me out of the rut that I was in. Oh look, we actually have somewhat nice weather today. Wow! There's a lot coming up soon, which is really exciting. Obviously, I've got this wonderful wedding of my friends on the weekend, and then straight after that is Venice Film Festival, which you'll see in the next video. And then we get straight into Fashion Month, guys. It's New York. I'm gonna skip London this season, I think, um, because I think I always need that week to recuperate after New York, to unpack, to repack, to go to fittings for Milan and Paris, and London just sort of gets in the way of that. So um, I'm not going to do London, but then I'm going to do Milan, I'm going to do Paris. So there's lots coming up. I know that a lot of you really enjoy watching the, the vlogs, the kind of fashion week vlogs. You may have missed Copenhagen. I feel like a lot of you missed that one. It makes me so sad. Maybe you weren't in the mood for fashion week content in the middle of August, in the middle of like, the summertime. <laughs> I know I certainly wasn't at the time, but I really love that vlog. And Alex put a lot into that edit, like a couple of days worth of of working on that so make sure you do watch that one next if you've not seen it so like i said i have been eating some really fantastic foods specifically a lot more veg fruit and just trying to like mix up my dishes and make things a little bit more interesting and fun one exciting thing i do have to tell you about i was literally about to go do a workout and just realized i haven't actually told you exciting news Ooh, it's a bit bright is it too bright maybe um yeah this room still isn't done by the way that's why we still have this on so that nothing slams into the beautiful new bookcase. Um, oh, such, such exciting news. I have finally started booking our honeymoon. A friend of mine the other day said, I don't understand what the difference is gonna be between your usual super nice holidays 
and your honeymoon. I think we've all understood at this point that I, we don't really take holidays as such. There's been a few recently that have been more holiday based because of, well, we had, we had this chat, didn't we? We had this chat in the Maldives and I said to you, I wanna start taking actual holidays where I don't take work with me and no projects and have just like me and Alex time. So we did Copenhagen with friends and um, have we done one since then? Most of the things have been work, but anyway, so I want to go away um, on a honeymoon that is just honeymoon. And obviously we'll be taking pictures. I'll want to do like honeymoon outfit shots, obviously, but I'm not going to be taking actual projects that have briefs and set timings and hashtags and um, can you please apply the makeup in this way? And can you please wear this bag with these shoes? There's going to be none of that. It's just all, anything that I'll ever want to shoot is because I want to and for the fun of it, not because I've been told to. That's the idea of this trip. So yeah, I'm so excited. Right, so let me let me tell you about, um, about the plans. The idea is we are heading over, first of all, to Singapore. We've got two nights in Singapore. Then we're going to Bawa Reserve. This has been on my list of top places to visit now for probably six years. And this is where we were going to book previously for our honeymoon right before COVID and COVID completely scuppered everything and that's why it's been put on hold for this many years. And then we just weren't able to get a two week honeymoon in anywhere else until now. And But we've kind of made the time for it. So we're going to Bawa Reserve. It is a an island off of um, Singapore and kind of in the Indonesian island area, I think. And it looks like heaven, absolute heaven. So we're going to there for a few nights. And then, I've got everything written in my little book. <laughs> um, going there for a few nights. Then we head back to Singapore. Then we get a flight to Bali. I've never been to Bali, believe it or not. We've never been to Bali, Australia, or New Zealand. All those kind of hot spot tourist spots, we've never been, we've never been that far. Like the most furthest we've been on a plane is probably Hong Kong, which I think is further than Japan. That's, those are the kind of furthest spots we've ever been. Malaysia, my geography is shocking, I'm very sorry, but that's probably as far as we've been um, over that way. So we're going to Bali and then we have four nights in Bali. So I'm currently, I'm currently, this is the last thing I need to do for this honeymoon is find two hotels in Bali that we want to stay at. I'm going to do two nights in one, two nights in another. I'm potentially thinking of Raffles Bali. I've just put out a little thing on stories to say, can you give me your favourite recommendations of hotels in Bali if you were going on a honeymoon? Raffles has come up a lot, so I've been checking it out and it does look amazing. The Viceroy in Ubud, that's come up a lot. Quite a few of the Arman, um, Arman hotels have come up which would be dreamy. But I've got a lot of different um, ideas for it. One of the places that I've personally seen is the Banyan Tree Resort. And it's literally up in the trees, like in the treetops, like treetop vibes, and your room is completely open and exposed, and it looks absolutely breathtaking. <laughs> so I'm looking at that one. And then we get, hi darling, hey baby boy. Bye. <laughs> anyway, and then, um, yeah, so then from Bali, we've got another flight then. It's only an hour and 25 minutes to Tambalaka. And from there, we go to Nihi Sumba Resort. Um, oh, I could cry thinking about it. It That is like, that's been top, absolute top, top, top of my list of places to go. Like there are wild horses that run along the beach. And again, it's just, it looks like an Indonesian paradise. It's got a bit of a Maldivian Bora Bora vibe, but in Indonesia. So we're staying there for four nights and then we fly back to Bali and then we fly home. So I've just been booking all of that in all the different flights here, there, internal. So fingers crossed it all goes to plan. The dream honeymoon. The dream honeymoon. So I will also be vlogging it. The amount of times I've watched my wedding vlogs back is crazy, just remember the, the memories. So without a doubt, we are going to vlog the whole thing. So it'll be two vlogs, because it's quite a long thing to do in one, like 60 days in one vlog a lot. So I'm gonna do, probably do two vlogs and bring you along, show you where we went, 
and I'm guessing it could be quite um, quite great for any of you guys who are wanting to book a honeymoon too. Um, just to give you maybe some ideas, I don't know, but yeah, that's what I'd let you know. Anyway, I'm gonna go do a workout. It's half past seven. I'll see you tomorrow. Hi guys. Oh wow, my room is once again. Oh, it's worse than ever. It's worse than ever, isn't it? We're heading off for a wedding soon. It is my best mate Charlotte and Matt's wedding. Like I said, I'm mistress of ceremonies. Very, very excited about it. I finally picked my dress. I gave it a steam earlier and tried it on again. And it looks amazing. It does look great. It looks really, really amazing, I think. Now that it's steamed, it fits even better. I think it's a really gorgeous dress for a wedding, personally. And I never wear that colour of blue. I put up yesterday a reel to see what people thought. I just put on some clay de peau, put on the protective fortifying emulsion, and then this is the SPF 50. We just need to make our way down now to the wedding, which is down towards Southampton Way. A couple of hours drive, so we're going to set off quite soon. It's going to be such good fun, I think. Alex is also filming the wedding as a wedding gift. So he's currently packing up all of his equipment, his drone, and he's gonna create like a bit of a montage video. I'm just gonna start packing up my makeup. So I thought I'd show you, I'm not gonna do like a full makeup routine right now, I'm just gonna show you what I'm gonna take for this. Cause I think sometimes it speaks volumes the things that you pack, doesn't it? This is an Elizabeth Scarlet pouch. I have maybe six of these for every collection that she's done. I love them, they're just beautiful, really beautiful velvet pouches that have little emblems on them. This one has uh, bees. One with zebras, one with elephants, one with turtles, um, and I've got a maroon one in there as well, and this one also has my initials on it, so they just make really great bags for makeup, because you can really manipulate them and move them around a lot. And then I also have the cute little Christian Dior bag as well, which often I use actually for uh, brushes, for taking my brushes, so. Right, so I've packed my SPF 50, it's an outdoor wedding. Um, foundation, very, very, very tough decision. It's gonna be a clay de peau, 020. I'm gonna take these two concealers, Armani Power Fabric, then I'm also gonna take the Dior number one, Dior Backstage number one, but I'm also going to take, because I can't not take one, a NARS soft matte, because that'll be in my handbag the whole time. Some VB Travertine Contour. Valentino bronzer. Do you know what I've not used in so long? Oh, the Tom Ford. Maybe I'll use a bit of this and mix it in with what I've just done. Through the eyelids. And then that means I have this to use for a wet look highlight. I've got two in one. Adding the tiniest bit of Valentino powder over top. I took the Nars powder. It is a winner. My outfit is blue, so I'm gonna go with orange makeup, go for Nars Brazen. Sorry, I'm kind of doing it now. I didn't mean to do this, but I'm almost giving myself a bit of a trial run here, I think. Okay, so that's going in. I'm gonna have to take the Dior Coral blush, though, too. I think for eyes, I'm gonna take both of my Vive palettes. This one mainly, because it's got lots of lovely latte tones, plus blacks and deep browns, and this gorgeous gold, so I wanna go gold. But then the Muse palette has got some really pretty more pastelized mauves in here, which could work nice, plus some lovely more champagne tones, plus this could look really gorgeous along the lash line tomorrow with the blue dress. Absolute favorite eyeshadows and consistencies ever. Rimmel Cappuccino Liner. And then uh, Vive. I think it's the perfect, perfect colour with that dress because it's got a peach to the nude. Lancome Fix It Spray. Current favourites. The Victoria Beckham Fast Lash Black Mascara is honestly phenomenal. It's like seriously volumising. The other mascara I'm absolutely obsessed with is the YSL Lash Clash in brown. Number two. Um, shade 2 and it's a really gorgeous chocolate brown especially now for me with blondy brown toned hair for most days I'm really enjoying a brown mascara I'll let this dry and I'm going to go over top power of this plus the power of this the t-shirt I'm wearing by the way long sleeved not like me I think this might be one of the only long sleeve t-shirts I've got this is a new um, long sleeve tee from Mother Mother Denim um, but if you roll up the sleeves, it just looks a bit more cash. And then I've tucked it into 
Again, very casual denim jeans. I have just dry air wrapped her. I just made sure that I spritzed every piece of hair to air wrap it, because I don't want it to be massive. I just want it to look like it's been like blow dried, like a blow dry yesterday effect. Oh, look at that combo. Not only is it a stunning color, brownie black tone, got this kind of splayed out lash effect from this, plus the ultra volume from the Victoria Beckham. Oh, look at that, look at that. Sorry, I realize that's my face, but my lashes. I realise this looks a bit barbaric with a spoolie, but it's the best way to get best way to get mascara off of your lids is with, when it's a bit more dry, then you can just almost pick it off with a spoolie. Do some brows, I've got the Ilia soft brown. A little bit of brow freeze. Cool. Right, I'll be back. On the road again! I am back with the hot husband. <laughs> We're on our way. I have decided to keep this Gucci jacket that I think I showed you the other day. It just worked perfectly with today's outfit. I'm wearing my Gucci jacket, a little Loewe uh, jersey top underneath, and then a pair of Loewe, you can just see them there, Loewe trousers, which does actually have a matching top, which I have, but I just fancy wearing this one instead. Also, I, I have just um, opened the box to my next samples for my, my next Edge of Ember collection. They are perfection. I have no amends to them. They're exactly what I wanted, exactly the right sizes. They are incredible quality. This, it's making this collection my favourite collection yet. So they're coming out not too long now. I mean, it's nearly the end of August, so it's six weeks, maybe. But you like them, don't you? Could be the best, yeah. Insane, and also like so many of you have asked for more gold pieces. So I think a lot of you are going to love it. Chances are you'll start seeing bits here and there. I'm not going to be covering everything up. They'll just be kind of integrated and then I can start telling you about them um, and that they're coming soon. Yeah, I mean, let me know if you want to, you know, see them ahead of time and then maybe I could create a bit of like a, a wait list, sign up list for you so that you don't miss out on your favorite piece. Literally right before we left, the samples arrived and they are just absolutely beautiful. So I'm thrilled to bit. On our way, we've got a two hour journey ahead. I'm hoping there's a really good stop station that has like a Leon or a nice like healthy food place or maybe like a subway and I can get a subway salad. Oh, I cannot wait for this wedding. I think it's gonna be so much fun. Like the crowd that are going are like proper like party, party animal people. Big party people. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be a lot of drinking, a lot of dancing, and just a lot of like love. So I can't wait. Look at this venue. Oh my goodness, me. So cool. Spent the majority of that ride right in your speeches. Yeah, we have. We've written all the speeches. Excellent. We are on top of it. We've arrived at the most gorgeous little country house, manor, farmhouse. So lovely. There's probably. 10 different couples staying here. It's huge, huge farmhouse in the middle of nowhere. Everyone's headed downstairs now for some drinks. They've got catering, they've got people serving drinks. So I'm gonna go down, have some drinks and some food. I've got into my beautiful peach dress again that I wore in Copenhagen. Just really excited to start the evening, have lots of drinks and then get ready for the wedding tomorrow. Okay, it is the day of the wedding. We're all gonna head down soon and get a drink. I went for the blue dress. And it's so gorgeous. I just think it's just so pretty. I love this like extra ruching detail that goes down to the back. Personally, I feel so, I firstly feel so, so pretty in this. I absolutely love it. I love the drape and the fit. I think it's just so pretty. Bad choice, a little self-portrait metallic bag. And I'm also wearing my Renee's that go all the way up. The ankle, so extra sparkle. Yeah, and I've just finished off my face, which was exactly what I told you I would do, plus using that Vive Muse palette for all of these colours. And that was pretty much it that I've that I've done. So I'm so happy with it. I've also done a full TikTok of the makeup. So again, if you do want to look at that, it's all on TikTok, kind of broken down into parts. Fully ready, I can't wait now. I'm so excited about this. Mm -hmm. 